so first we should know that sometime it comes that i have faced a problem and i am building a solution but is this problem exist for me or a community or it is a global problem and it is if it is a problem who anyone is looking for a solution and if anyone is looking for a solution he is willing to buy it Hello everyone I welcome you all to the startup story spotlight where we invite all the founders and CEOs to know their entrepreneurial journey today we have with us CEO of e pani puri cards harish niyota sir so we are very glad to have you us sir and we are looking forward to know more about your entrepreneurial journey today so hello everyone thanks for inviting me So to start with the interview I would like to know about what is your exactly uh, the career background what was your career like before e pani puri cards and what was your exactly the educational background So I have started my career in mobile uh, industry means I was doing uh, distributions for well known brand like Nokia Motorola Samsung in my region Bihar and Jharkhand districts so I have done almost uh, uh, 20 years in this trade Firstly, I started with the cellular uh, connections of uh, Airtel and Jio. I done distribution there. Then I switched over the mobile handset. And later on, in two twenty, uh, uh, I think then later in two thousand twelve, I turned into mobile accessories. There, I have built up two brands, my own brand, and uh, throughout uh, across uh, these two states. Uh, i have done the distributions for this mobile and accessories later in 2018 i have to shut my business due to some financial crisis after was uh, in 19 i started my this venture that's that's really in- inspiring of you sir to move forward with the next question i would like to ask when did you come up with the e pani puri and why did you feel that the industry needed something like e pani puri cards <sighs> as i said that uh, due to some financial crisis i have to shut down my uh, previous business and then uh, uh, due to that uh, i was almost uh, left with no money so within a very few amount i have to start a new business to earn my own livelihood and look after my family uh, requirements so it was very tough time for me and uh, no any business uh, uh, at present uh, was fit into my budget so then my wife suggested me to do a small food cart business that fit into my budget and when i looked upon various products available in street food i found that pani puri was very majorly popular and massively consumed and l- gradually and slowly i deep dive into this product and uh, upon my research I went uh, to several locations, talked with some few vendors, and uh, observed how it is uh, uh, being served and consumed by people. So gradually, I came to know various uh, problems in it. There was no any standard business model. Everyone was doing it on in own style. There was no any hygiene parameters. There was no any uh, food safety compliances handled by them. so and along with that there was lot of opportunities within it because it is a highly spreadable business pan india and not only india uh, it is also present uh, globally so i found that uh, this is a very opportunistic uh, product and it has a scope of uh, innovation in it we can do a uh, we can create a better business model and upon all these thoughts uh, uh, means uh, this journey started and uh, idea of ki pani puri cart was born actually uh, in that only and slowly i started my research and finally in october 2019 i started this venture that is really amazing uh, to even catch with the financial financial crisis and just also invest in something that is really Uh, inspiring 
So I think let's move forward with another question. I would like to know, since you are in the food industry right now, can you give an overview of what is the industry size and the market dynamics? So when we talk about the entire food and beverage market, it is very huge. But when we talk about the specifically street food domain, it is highly unorganized and there is no any authentic data. But uh, basis of uh, assumption, we can say that uh, there are approximately uh, 1 million plus vendors present uh, in India who are serving food items in street food. So when we talk about them, means they are, uh, they are serving different types of products starting from uh, Chinese to whatsoever Indian savory snacks items. There are lots of products. So we cannot assume any market size for them, but we can even count them by the numbers present in India. So according to a government uh, data also that was published in uh, COVID time, because uh, our honorable prime minister has launched a scheme for especially for state uh, vendors only. Then there was an authentic data that they are almost 5 million of street vendors in India. So, basis upon that assumption, we can uh, uh, take out a number that uh, approximately uh, 1 million food vendors are present in street food. That is really amazing. Uh, moving forward with another question, I would like to know what are some challenges which you faced as a service provider? Uh, obviously, there was financial crisis for you, but can what was the challenges particularly apart from these and how how did you overcome that as i said that uh, i was uh, the amount that uh, i started with uh, in this venture was only 1 lakh rupees and that also i uh, arranged by selling my car so there was no actual money with me and uh, uh, sooner i started in october 19th after Four to five months uh, there was uh, COVID, and uh, all these times in the during the lockdown, uh, lockdown one or two or three, uh, we were facing a very severe problem due to financial, uh, and also uh, there was no any traction in our business. We were doing on our own, but I would like to mention a thing that. Uh, my co-founders, Mr. Jyoti Prakash Sahu and Mr. Divya Sundar uh, Jyoti was my social friend. When I discussed this idea with him, he was very excited to work with me. And uh, Divya was a common friend between us. He also joined. And with the help of uh, these two guys, I was able to build my venture. So they didn't took a single penny from the organization and they had built up the entire solution. So that was very tough time and uh, uh, between that time a certain uh, thought came also to me that I was very much depressed about the progress that we have on that time and literally I was uh, that much down that I thought of leaving this idea and start a good job. But uh, that also I actually overcome and uh, finally uh, this is uh, on what we are today. That is really motivating of you. Since you said that uh, there was COVID uh, as soon as you started, so can you uh, tell us the effects of what the COVID had on your business? So actually there was no business, but uh, frankly speaking we were about to start means when we started in October 19, we have set a milestone of uh, within six months, we would be coming out with our first prototype, but it cannot happen. So it was very much uh, demotivating for us and uh, lockdown pressure and lockdown uh, means uh, that, that is not really needed here to tell again what lockdown has impacted us all. But uh, uh, that was really a very uh, challenging period for us because we were uh, 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 facing the lockdown uh, effects also as well as uh, we were very much uh, uh, pressurized uh, with this uh, development that we can monitor or that actually what was happening on a remote basis only. So it was very much uh, challenging to do such type of development on a remote basis. So that was a very tough time. 
and uh, but uh, finally i would just say only uh, one thing that uh, we as a team has overcome all these challenges very uh, smartly and very much uh, cooperative with uh, within the organization and uh, due to us team only uh, we have uh, come out of this all challenges and finally in august 21 we started our uh, bhubneswar branch and from then only we are totally 100% uh, operational and uh, now what we can say that uh, means uh, what is this today is of the sacrifice that we have done in the past covid time that is really amazing so uh, to know more about this uh, can you please define what your position in 3 years would look like and what are your goals for the company so uh, after this uh, in august 21 when we started our bhubneswar branch so our first aim was that we have to first uh, uh, develop the final product the final commercialization uh, product that we can uh, do so we started working on that and last year 22 Uh, we set a target of installing around a uh, hundred of units for trial and testing purpose in India across uh, different geographies in different locations. So uh, we have successfully achieved that. And last December we have closed uh, down to 120 units installation. So we have achieved product market fit. And now uh, with this year onwards, means from January for the next three years, we have set a target uh, for. aggressive marketing and we are aiming to install around 5000 machines in this 3 years that that's great so uh, last but not the least uh, there are so many young entrepreneurs who are uh, starting with their startups right now so do you have any message or a piece of advice for for them so see i am not a advisor or, or mentor but to, uh, with my experience what i have faced uh, during this uh, entire journey of 3 years and what i have learned specifically that is relevant to all those who are willing to start or who are doing if we are building a product so what we should know that sometime it comes that i have faced a problem and i am building a solution but is this problem exist for me or a community or it is a global problem and it is if it is a problem do anyone is looking for a solution and if anyone is looking for a solution he is willing to buy it because sometimes it also happens that problem exist but solution is there but we are not willing to take it because we are not ready to pay for it so are they willing to purchase it buy it and if they are ready to buy it how much they are ready to pay for it if we have a answer for all this then only we can successfully build a product for ma which will be widely accepted and that can be scalable i think that's a really practical advice and i think we are done with the interview here i am so glad to have you with us today and i am definitely sure that everyone watching us would find something inspiring in your story So thank you for your time thank you for your efforts and I wish you all the very best from the startup story family and yeah I think we, I had a great time today thanks and same heroes thanks a lot